hey what is up guys i hope you are all doing fine i just want to make this quick video because i am building a new service for Lavenue, which is uh, the company i founded three years ago we need to make a new go service and um i needed to have some interaction with my database which also means i need to have some migration tools and i've been using go migrate for basically everything um the past couple of years but somebody from my community say hey anthony why aren't you using goose and uh I checked it and I'm using it right now and I think it's pretty amazing. So let's actually dive a little bit deeper into that. So if you're wondering what I'm building, I'm building this actually live. It's a real service that we're going to use for the Lavenue company. And I am building this basically live on Total Coder, right? So if you want to completely see how I built these things that are actually going to be used in production for the company, uh, you can basically go to the Total Coder link in the description and uh, you can learn from that if you want. All right, so let's take a look at Goose. So Goose is very simple. Um, let me show you basically how to install this thing. So this is the GitHub. I will also provide that in the description. So the only thing you need to do is basically install this thing, right? You just copy this stuff and Go will install that as a binary. And then you can actually do something like uh, Goose like this. Let me close this. And you're going to have a complete CLI, right? So there are, it basically supports a lot of drivers. For example, Redshift, uh, Postgres, MySQL, uh, click house it's i don't know it's supporting a shit ton of stuff which is amazing right um the, so basically how i use this um so you see these uh, commands which you can do right you could do goose up and all that stuff the problem is that you need to specify some environment variables telling goose which driver you're using what is basically the uh credentials of your database and all that stuff so i have this of course uh, a make file wrapper uh it's it's not the best wrapper, but it works for me. It's basically where I set my uh, database environment variables that I'm using Postgres, my connection string, my migration path, and all that stuff. Um, that's what I'm doing. And then I can just do something like this, right? Let me clear the screen. Make a reset, which basically res resets my database. Make up to uh, do all my migrations. Uh, and for example, make seed but that's actually something that I created myself internally. So that's basically how I'm using this. If you want to create a new migration, it's very simple. You can do goose um, create, for example, at users uh, table, right? Just something like this. And then you need to specify, uh, and that's something new in go migrate, in go and migrate, you don't have the option to, uh, you could basically do that uh, programmatically with go functions, but it's not that straightforward. I think Goose lets you uh, have a very, very idiomatic way to create your migrations with plain Golang syntax, which is amazing. I'm a little bit old school. I love to use SQL uh, for that. So I'm going to say here, Goose create at users table, SQL, press enter. So what we didn't do here is specify our migrations there. So what Goose is going to do, it's going to dump this thing into your root folder here. But I'm going to copy that to my migrations. You can actually specify um, an environment variable that will... Uh, target your migration path if you want right so you can see we have this stuff and let me show you something that i already did you can see here for example the file uploads you do a goose up create a table goose down drop table and uh, all these cool stuff i really like goose much more than go migrate um that's actually basically it guys so again uh, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, let me know what kind of migration tools you are using. Is it Golang Migrate something else or you do it manually? Could be. Uh, or also maybe you're using Goose. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. And again, if you really want to see how I'm building this stuff for uh, the Lavenue company, uh, hey, feel free to uh, go to the Total Coders and I'll see you there. Right. Thanks for watching this video and I'm looking forward to see you in the next one or in one of my live streams. Peace out.